All right, so let's talk about adding uh, the ability to actually buy the product, to check out, for people to put in their credit card and such. Um, let's look at the dashboard, and we will go over to Settings Store. These are the settings of the WP Commerce uh, plugin. Remember, we went to the screen by screen a while ago, and now we need to look in detail at another screen. So at the top, you've got all of these subsections. Let's go over to the payments. Let's look, at, let's look at payments here. These are the built-in ways to collect payments. And again, if you have a different sort of payment gateway already set up, most likely you'll have to invest in the gold cart, which is $47, in order to be able to accept payments through that other method. Because this has built-in ChronoPay and a few flavors of PayPal. The, the one I'm recommending is PayPal Payments Standard 2.0. Let me talk about the differences. PayPal Standard, if you click on Settings, has a few areas to fill in. In contrast with Checkout, has more areas and more complicated things to fill in. So the checkout, Express Checkout, is actually more complicated to set up than the standard. Yes? What does API stand for? That's getting out of our scope. Not quite necessary to really know that. But, uh, so, the Express Checkout needs the Express Checkout and the payment standard need a PayPal account to work. But the only thing that PayPal standard needs is your PayPal email address to work. So if I had you know, Victor's Bakery at gmail.com, that's all that I need to set this up. If I wanted to set up this other one, I would need to log in to my PayPal account and go to a very specific screen and generate signatures and passwords and all of that and then plug it in here. And then we've got other things to fill in like IPN and all of that. Honestly, too complicated. This stuff, I'm not going to go into detail what it means and how to set it up because I've done both ways and this is more complicated. The reason you might want to use one ag against the other is if you use the checkout, express checkout, that will give you a screen that looks like your website where people can put in their credit cards. In contrast with the standard, which will give you a screen from PayPal. So when a person goes here to purchase, it'll take them over to a PayPal screen, and that's where they'll put in their credit card numbers if we use the standard one. But maybe I want the full experience of people staying on my site and it's got my logo and my branding and everything. That would be via the method of Express, which is the more complicated way to set up. It's also the way that is more... Um, the onus is on you more because then you will completely be in charge of taking their credit card number and all of that. Which again, I don't want that. I don't want to be liable for people's credit cards on my site. Um, 
that's another check mark against using Express Checkout. It's more complicated to set up, and now you have more liability because your site now is going to be dealing with those credit card numbers because we've stayed in your site to collect the payment. So that's why I'm recommending the payment standard because all we need to do is fill in what is the email address of our PayPal account, not the password or anything like that, just the email address. And what happens in the back end is that PayPal takes care of it. And we can actually kind of test this right now to see what it looks like. Um, let's give it a shot. I didn't change anything under checkout, but let's look under the settings of, of standard. <coughs> We'll, I'll show you what display means in a moment, but I'm just going to make up a name here. Put anything you want here. You can put a real address if you want, but I'm going to make this up here. <coughs> on username. This is your PayPal email address. Just put whatever you want. Account type is live because we wanted to start collecting payment. We've got sandbox account, but sandbox account is not active unless you have a certain type of PayPal account. And sandbox is just to test it, so you can put in fake credit card numbers and such. We can't really change anything there. Let's leave it live. Since our website and PayPal are two different entities and we want them to be able to talk back and forth, we um, we have this option for IPN yes or no instant payment notification will automatically update your sales log to accepted payment when a customer payment is successful notice none of them are on we want it on but notice it says in order for this to work you also need to have IPN turned on on your PayPal if it's not turned on the sales will remain as order pending until manually changed it's highly recommended using IPN Okay, so this is going to need a, some setup, but I'm just telling you at the moment. You, you want this on because you want PayPal to communicate back to your site on your dashboard. Remember, we're going to look there that it says product pending, product sold, etc., etc. That's not going to change unless you have this turned on. But you have to turn this on also in PayPal. We'll see that. That way we will see once PayPal collects the payment, it'll tell our site we got paid for, and it'll change on our site. These two other ones, I would recommend to leave them as default. Shipping details and What's address the override. The sandbox is like a test site? Yeah. Okay, so. But we can't use that. Even if we just turn it on, we can't use it because we need a special PayPal account. So both of these I will leave no because the default will work just fine. What does it do exactly? The short answer is don't worry about it. It works. Uh, what's happening is that we are taking data from your site and sending it over to PayPal. Uh, do we want to overwrite that data? No. And then a person is able to change their shipping address and such. So we'll just leave it as is. We'll turn on update. update and then we want to turn on that option and turn off the test gateway the test gateway doesn't do anything really you can look at its settings and there's not much to look at there don't worry about it test gateway test gateway is just a test it doesn't do anything but um, you make sure you turn on the PayPal one and turn off the test and then save Be it could. You it could have all of these. You could turn them all on. You could use other options, definitely. I'm just showing the contrast so that we don't have too many things to deal with. I'm turning off one and using the other. But you could turn them more than one on, sure. Give people more than one way to pay. 
Let's go back to your dashboard and then go over to your checkout screen. If you are already there, make sure you refresh your screen. I'm going to go to Cakes and then I'm going to go to Checkout. Now for you, does this already have it filled in? Okay. Um, put in your email address up there. Enter your email address. Just put in or make one up. Do Darth Vader at Death Star. So just uh, change the email address. You can change any of those details if you want, not necessary. Just change the email address. A fake one. Yeah, you can put a fake one, a real one. Let's do a fake one. I didn't change any of this billing stuff. Uh, I've got same as billing turned on. Make sure you agree to the terms and then purchase. All right, so this then wants to take us over to PayPal, but we made up an email address, so there's a problem. But notice, this would work if we had supplied the proper PayPal account address right here. There's no such thing as, um, or actually, wait a minute, I didn't fill it in. Yeah, like, like I said, I didn't fill it in, so let me, let me fill it in. So if you fill it in, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that. No, otherwise, PayPal will not allow, right? Exactly. Well, that shouldn't be a big de detriment to it, but let me, yeah, I, I guess I'm missing that. But uh, the point is... So, can they pay with just a credit card without having any money? Yes. Now, I, I apologize, mine's not coming up, but... Um, and I'm not going to put a real address. Um, I can't see that option, so what option do you mean? <laughs> the option of just using a credit card. It gives me two. I can create a PayPal account. What email address did you put PayPal. into this screen here? Um, I put in Victor's bank account. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to be able to show you exactly, don't worry. But here's the thing. When this is properly set up, and we're not finished setting it up yet, when it's properly all set up, you will have the option to pay with a with an existing PayPal account or to select just a credit card. If it doesn't show up for yours, like I said, don't worry, we're not finished setting it up yet. So the short answer is that it does work. Question. Did I choose the free pass? Free pass something? Free pass instead of the OPM phone number? Or did I choose the phone? Yes, and we're going to get to that. We're not done yet. Are you talking about this IPN here? So is it what is causing this problem? I doubt it. It's because I don't have uh, an email address. But let me see. I'll turn off IPN, and let's see what happens. If it doesn't work, like I said, don't worry. I'm going to move on. There's still plenty more to talk about. Let's see here. Yeah, so don't worry. <clears throat> this one, I guess, 
I'm using. <coughs> Well, it's because you're using Galaxy Mac, you're not using Baker's Bakery, which works just fine. Use your own real account, right? <laughs> I forgot what I wrote here, so what did I write here? So this is what your users would see. Now this of course assumes that that email address that that PayPal account exists and that it's um active and all of that, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But here, in my case, it's showing a couple of options. Create a PayPal account, pay with my PayPal account, and then over here, uh, you know, it's got fill this stuff in right here, credit card, etc. So in order for us to change it so that a person doesn't have to create the PayPal account, and it lets us go forward, that's a setting we need to change on our PayPal account. Wait a minute, we don't have a PayPal account yet. We're getting to that. But the point is here that this is why I recommend use the standard one because look how easy it was to set up. You put in your email address, you tell it use IPN, and then it's ready. That assumes, of course, you've got the PayPal set up, which we'll talk about in a moment. Whereas the other one, we needed to log into our PayPal account and get these three fields of data and turn on other stuff and a little more complicated. And again, the problem with this is that it's going to want to um, stay on your site and then you'll be liable for that credit card info. Here, we've been jumped over to PayPal.com. Notice up here, PayPal.com with encryption, SSL, security, whereas our site doesn't have that. PayPal then will see that, okay, you're going to buy, in my case, $62 of content. And so far, the default is set up that a person needs to create a PayPal account and then put in their credit card info, and then they bought it. And then this will talk back to my, uh, my, my site and show me that the product has been purchased. This process here, um, I can't exactly show every step of it, but I do have videos that I can show you. Um, but let's say we're at this screen here, and at the very bottom, cancel and return to Victor's Bakery. So at the very bottom, if you see that, click cancel. It takes you back to our site the transaction result page. We're sorry, your transaction was not accepted. So that's built into the plugin. So I'll leave that screen for a moment. Let's go back to the dashboard. And then to the dashboard item and then store sales. Dashboard and store sales. So this, in my case, I did this several times, but it, in uh, my case, at the very end here, it says this is the item I was trying to buy. And notice then that it says incomplete sale. So if the whole process went through, PayPal would communicate back to the site and say uh, accepted payment, in that the payment was accepted and the product was, was really bought. You can always change that. If IPN is not turned on, that's what it was saying. If IPN is not turned on and if it's not set up on PayPal, this will always stay on incomplete sale, even if the product was properly bought because PayPal cannot communicate back to our site to change that. Well, we can always change it ourselves. 
But that's why one reason why we want to turn on IPN in these settings. How about tracking ID? What does it do? Once the payment has been accepted and the product has been uh, shipped, UPS gives us a tracking number. We can put the tracking number here and send an email to the person so that they know where their product is. So I made this one up, but we're, I'm assuming UPS or FedEx or whatever is giving me a tracking number and then I can put it here and send it to the user. <coughs> Okay, so half of the equation is that our site is set up properly. The other half is that PayPal is set up properly. So let's talk about that. But any questions up to this part? Yes? Um, if you have UPS or FedEx, then, and maybe that's what we're that is inside of the PayPal dashboard. In there, we're going to be able to set that up, and then they'll be oh, able okay. to communicate. Yes. When you do a, a page like we did with just five, mm -hmm. can you do two categories at once, or just one category? Mm. You could, I think. You know, we went in and we clicked add that short code. I suppose we could add another one, although then it, there probably will be big conflicts because what if we've got five items on one category and 12 on another? I don't know how I would arrange them. I don't know if it would first show all pies and then all cookies. I'm not sure. Uh, and I sort of recommend don't do more than one category per page. That's might be too unwieldy. So let's talk about uh, creating a PayPal account. Uh, again, this is a big can of worms. And what I would say, since these things are free, let's create a PayPal account fake. We'll make it all up. And then I'll give you the resources and the tutorials and the videos to really set it up properly because you do want to collect payment at some point. But I don't want people to just you know, not really get it because you don't want to do it, we'll, we'll make it up. We'll create one fake so that we see these nuances. Under, uh, let, I'm going to make a, a new tab or a new window, and let's go to paypal.com. Actually, let me do something here. 